hey what's up guys so welcome to the next video in our python programming series today we are going to discuss about module in python programming so what is mean by module and uh, a example on module how we can write we'll see so coming to the definition of module a module in python is a file which contains set of built in definitions which can be called so anywhere in the program so as you can see uh, in the program to execute the set of instructions written inside that module so the meaning of module is that a module contains set of well defined functions so that may be addition subtraction multiplication or searching sorting anything you have written inside that one so the concept of module here is that you have written a program previously that is used to sort the numbers or add two numbers okay but in new program you don't want to write that code again but instead of that you just want to use that code name that is whatever you give you will give the name and save it in your folder so i just want to use that name and i want to get my work done so that can be done in python so you just have to remember the name of the file uh, by which you have saved the program then call that name and just give the instruction what you want to do so then it will automatically give you the result so the uh, the uh, one more great thing what i can say is the size of the code will be reduced drastically because you, you are just calling the whole program by its name whatever you have saved okay so that is the concept of module so module is nothing but a built in uh, data type or built in function so like we are using so numpy uh, dot uh, library then uh, other things like uh, uh, a number and a graphical user interface gui tinter so that is basically used to create the calculator so like this they are nothing but the built in modules itself so we are calling these as built in functions which are having a number of return functions inside and we can use them directly without coding for those things so the same thing applies to here also so this is nothing but a built in uh, function created by the user so a user defined built in function i can say so that's all about the module what is the meaning of module so i hope you got the point module is nothing but a well defined function so it contains well defined functions and you can call it uh, anywhere in our program to get some work done okay so this will basically reduce the lines which are uh, required for the code and it will also make the code simpler okay so uh, example what we are going to see is in our video we will create a module so first we will create a module which contains uh, let us say two functions that is addition and subtraction and then we will create a other uh, new file and we will call that module in the new file and try to get the output so how we can do let us see so let me just open python here oops so it is saying that it is gathering information all right so now uh, i have opened the python so it has got uh, some update so it has updated now so i am using the version 2.7.18 that is the previous one to the 3.8.3 .3. so you can use anything so there is no restriction on that one all right so now i will create a new file here so that is basically uh, where i will be writing the a module so module now i'll be giving something so let me just define the functions inside that one so i'll start writing from here and i will write a comment here so this program acts as a module okay so that is basically the comment and i will define the function now def, def and i will first add here so first i will fun define add and it is taking two parameters a and b then i will come inside the definition and uh, write sum equal to uh, a plus b so it will return the sum and i will print some functions so that the user will understand what is happening so i will write the entered numbers numbers are so i will write like this and 
will write a comma b so these are the two entered numbers and now i will print the sum of the numbers so i will write the sum of entered numbers is so let me just write like this and i will write the sum here okay so this will basically give me the sum and then i will come out of this one by writing a return statement so this is basically one definition which i am writing so let me just save this one so first i will show you for one and i will write like this addition okay i have saved with the name addition so that is basically the module name okay so remember that one we need to call that one so i will uh, now create a new file so where i will be writing the actual main code okay so how i will be writing main code uh, first i have to import the module so this is the standard keyword which i am using import and module name is addition so make sure that you are writing addition in a correct manner that is whatever you have written uh, while defining that one so i will use the dot operator to uh, uh, do the work of addition so i will write addition uh, dot so this is the function name which i am calling and the parameters are 2 comma 2 then uh, so as you can see i have a new file and i imported the module addition and i have just written one line here so that is addition and dot add 2 comma 2 so this add is the uh, defined or the function which is uh, uh, written inside this addition and now i am calling add from the addition so i will save this one let us say okay so i will name it as uh, module okay so i will name it as module and i am try to run this one so as you can see the entered numbers are 2 comma 2 and the sum of the entered numbers is 4 so it is directly giving me the sum instead of writing sum equal to a plus b i can just call this one so as you can see i have not defined anything in this program so whatever i have defined is in the previous program or the program which is away from this one so that is not in this window it is in the other window so as you can see it uh, the addition definition is defined here that is in module addition and i am calling it in the new program with just a one line so that is the beauty of uh, module so you can have a hundred lines program and you will be just calling it with the help of one definition or the one line and you will be able to do your work okay so now i will uh, take it to the next level so what i will do i will define an another definition so which will give me the subtraction so i will write like this def and uh, subtract uh, so subtract i will write then oops so i will give two parameters again a and b so i will come into inside this loop and uh, definition and then i will write uh sub equal to so i will just try it let me just try this one as sub so i am i will be writing sub and uh, here i will write subtract is equal to uh, a minus b so this will give me the subtraction so i will write print again same as the previous one so the entered numbers are entered numbers are and then i will write a comma sorry a comma b okay then i will go to the next print statement where i will be printing the result so i will write the subtraction of numbers is so i will write sorry so I will write subtract here. So I will write I will be writing subtract and then I will go to the next statement that is return. It will come out of this loop and I will just save this one and I will open my previous program that is this one 
and I will write again I it is in the same module addition so I will call that one addition dot and the name of the function is subtract so I will write sub sorry sub and I will pass the parameters so let us say 8 is the first number and 4 is the second number so uh, that's it uh, one line for calling that uh, subtraction definition so I will save this one control s and I will try to run so let me just run this one so you can see in the output the entered numbers are 2 comma 2 and the sum of the entered numbers is 4 and for second definition which I have written for subtraction the entered numbers are 8 and 4 and the subtraction of numbers is 4 so as you can see uh, my code is working okay great so it is giving me the subtraction so like this you can go for any number of uh, definitions inside that one so if I want to uh, let us say I want to do multiplication so I will write def then I will write mul that is multiplication and a b are the same parameters let us say I will take three parameters here and then I will go inside this loop and I will write multiplication is equal to so a star b star c so I will again write uh, let us say the entered elements are enter elements are uh, then I will define the elements here so a comma b comma c so these are the elements which are entered and again I will write a print statement saying that uh, the multiplication of the entered elements is so I will print the multiplication now so I will write multiply multiplication so I will write multiplication so make sure that you are using the same name so multiplication and multiplication are correct ok so then I will write the last statement that is to come out of this definition that is return okay i will save this one and i will go to my next program so that is here okay so then i will uh, again call the module addition so i will write addition then i will use the definite function name mul and i will give three variables that is two two and two okay I have to remove this one so 2 2 2 alright so I will save this one and try to run okay so now we can see the output so the entire numbers are 2 2 sum is 4 8 4 subtraction is 4 and these are the three numbers which I have entered 2 2 and 2 2 2 is a 4 4 2 is a 8 so the multiplication is 8 here so like this you can go for any number of definitions which you want to write okay so there is no restriction that you should be writing only two or three uh, fun definitions inside this module so you can have a thousand line code and you will be calling that code with just the uh, just with the help of one line so it is a huge uh, amount of reduction in the number of lines required for the particular code so what if you want to know the definition so if uh, there is a module named addition and you don't know what are all the definitions which are written inside that uh, module so for this module that is addition I know that there are three definitions that is addition multiplication and subtraction but a module which is not written by you and you are just given the name of that module let us say XYZ and you want to use that module uh, you want to use it for sorting so how will you come to know that this particular module will be containing the definition of sorting that is if I give like sort then it will give me the sorted array 
so uh, is there any way to find out the number of definitions or the definitions which are written inside that module so yes there is a built in function inside a python called a dir so that will basically give me the uh, uh, the strings which are present inside that um, module in a sorted manner okay so as you can see here i have executed that string that is dir function here dir and you have to give the module name so let me just execute once again so dir and inside the round brackets you have to write the module name so module name is addition so i will write addition and hit enter so as soon as i hit enter it is showing built ins doc file name and package so these are the four uh, strings which are available always and then the uh, these are the three things which are actually written by me so that is add mul and subtract so these are the three built ins which are written by me and they are the definitions which are present in module so by using dir function you can actually find out the different types of functions built in functions which are written inside a particular module so this is very helpful guys you can uh, actually assess the or you will come to know what are all the definitions which are written inside that module so that's all about uh, the module so how to define module so let me just quickly recap what i have done so until now we have seen what is mean by module and why it is very important to use module so how we can create a module and how will we be using that module to get our work done so these are all the things which i have covered and i hope you understood this video so if you understood and found the content useful please guys hit the like button and subscribe the channel because we will be uploading python related videos and that is for specially beginners so i will be explaining step by step and it will be a great help from you guys so thank you thanks for watching meet you in the next video